When researchers at the University of South Carolina are finished, this catalyst powder will combine with jet fuel to allow a miniature unmanned aircraft to fly silently for hours. Currently, the battery-operated drones typically fly one and a half to two hours, while the fuel cell-operated drones using our technology could fly up to 10 hours. The research is being conducted to improve military drones or unmanned aerial vehicles, but some are concerned about what that could mean for individual privacy. These vehicles, which are commonly called drones, are going to be smaller and smaller and cheaper to acquire, and they'll be able to go into houses and garages and backyards. To make sure drones like the Richland County Sheriff's Department's radio-controlled helicopter don't violate civil rights, Representatives Hamilton and Delaney passed a bill through a House subcommittee last week to implement usage restrictions, image retention restrictions, and auditing. Estimates are by 2015 there'll be 30,000 drones in the air, and uh, if we don't have some kind of uh, regulation around those, uh, things will be running rampant. And so what we are doing is just putting some restrictions on how they're used by state and local agencies. While law enforcement agencies would be required to have an inspection warrant for the use of their drones, the bill would exempt universities like USC from that requirement so that cutting-edge drone research like that in the Department of Chemical Engineering can continue unabated. Legislators are hoping the bill gets a full Judiciary Committee hearing next week. In Columbia, Ivory Hecker, Watch Fox News.